Manny Amiwe copying Michaela Nogura. Let's talk about it. Is Michaela Nogura fishing for sponsorships and views? Hmm. We have so much to talk about. This is Rich Loves with the hottest news on YouTube. Okay, so I've been noticing this trend where like Michaela Nogura will get something like this and she'll be like, this is makeup I've never tried before. This is a full face of brand new makeup. 2020. Something like that. Or it's always like, this is a whole bunch of makeup I've never heard of. Like something like that, you know? Uh, I wish I could do one that was like, this is a whole bunch of, wait, no, how would I do it? This is my most expensive makeup. And they always hold it up like that. You guys know, see that? So like, I saw like Manny MUA do something. Let's do a full face of ex- This is a full face of bread. Let's do a full face of ex- This is a full face of bread. Something similar to that. They'll hold like a tray of makeup and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a full face of ex- This is a full face of bread. Let's do a full face of ex- This is a full face of bread. I'm saying, I'm just like, wait. I saw this before, and I'm like, is Manny MUA copying Michaela? And I say that, like, uh, who knows, girl, at this point, if he is or not, who care? But, like, he's been known to, like, leech and copy people, so, girl, who knows? But, anyways, I just, that was, like, a little observation I made. But I haven't heard anyone talk about Manny MUA in a while. I haven't heard any new launches, any new makeup collaborations. It seems like Laura Lee is doing a lot more with her coins, with her minimum, and her selling earrings, and... So I'm always like, save me some! Right here, I'm packing an order for Menom, and if you didn't know, we are have our Body Glow Oil, which everybody has been loving so much. The reviews are popping off! I'm obsessed. They ordered some clothing as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack that up real nice. Here's a look at our body products. Socks, or whatever she's selling, guys. Doing good for her, but I just feel like, okay, did, okay. Good for them, but I think that, like, I don't even know if they're even making any money, right? Or they're probably just breaking even at this point. Anyways, who knows? Moving on. So, Michaela Negrera posted several videos. So, she posted this video where she was like trying on fashion looks and stuff. It dressed with me to go to the Cheesecake Factory. Best friend's birthday. Uh, and I was thinking like, is she fishing for like a... Is she like trying to get a sponsorship deal? She did a video where she was like gonna go to the Cheesecake Factory or something. And I'm like, that's gonna be her look? That's gonna be her look? Like, are you, like, really? That's gonna be your look? You could do anything? And that's, guys, put it in the comments. That's gonna be your look? Girl, it was giving like, I'm gonna go to the buffet. Uh, it was giving more like, it wasn't giving something out of the Cheesecake Factory. For who goes to the Cheesecake Factory? Ugh, do not, you take me to the Cheesecake Factory, red flag, okay, seriously. But honestly, I was thinking about it, and I was like, that was giving, like, I'm gonna go to the Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, you know, that was, like, that type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, there's a vibe, like, if you go to the Marshalls or the Ross or TJ Maxx, there's, like, a requirement, right? You're gonna wear open-toed sandals, something comfortable, capri pants, so when that cut off right above the ankle, preferably white, um, a little flowy top, spaghetti string, you know, and then one of those big old bags that you can put a whole bunch of stuff in, like, those Louis Vuitton ones, like, really big. You know, you put it here in like a bucket bag, one of those big ones, and those sunglasses, okay? And we're ready for the Marshalls and the Ross. And like, that's the look when you go there. You guys know what I'm talking about, okay? You guys know what you do it too, okay? If you call me and you say, hey, girl, we're, I'm going to Marshalls and Ross, I'd be like, all right, bet. Let me get dressed. You already know what I'm going to wear. Mm -hmm. Open toe sandals, capri pants, spaghetti string top, my little bucket bag, my little glasses, okay? I'm ready to go shop the house. All right, so that was gonna be her look. I was like, really? It, it, she did several videos, and I was just like, really, girl? Like, oh, and then she does one like for her boss babe outfit. Get dressed with me to be a boss bitch. Bodysuit, and now I'm gonna pair it with these. Michaela sat down and was like, I'm dressed dress up with me for my boss babe outfit. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, boss babe outfit? That's not giving boss babe. Girl, that's giving like, I'm gonna go to the down to the DMV, renew my license real quick. I don't even want to go. And then I'm going to stop down at the, um, I'm going to go to Irwan and I'm going to go grocery shopping and I'm going to go to Walmart and stuff. And then maybe I might go to Target if they don't have what I'm looking for. And like, that's that look. If that, if, and, and take the jacket off because you wear it for the look, but you don't commit to it. So you're going to end up taking off the jacket. Okay. Anyways, that's just something. Anyways. So apparently people are saying that she's trying to get, like she's trying to go viral again, right? Like she'll do things like she'll, she'll say like makeup bag. Like those, those are like funny moments or like Kim Kardashian, like those are funny moments, right? She's trying to like recreate that. 
So she posted this video and I honestly thought that it was something wrong with my iPad or something like, I thought that the app was glitching on TikTok. And let me show you. The rock, a slick back bun like everybody else. I, like, don't have and when I was like, wait, oh, watch out the camera. I was like, wait a minute, that's her video. And then she's in the comments defending it. She's like, yeah, it's the video, it's the video. But I can't help but to feel like she did that herself just to get people to talk about it. It's working when we're talking about it. But I don't know, I didn't believe it. Like, it just, it seemed like it was like fishing for views, right? So then, let's talk about the police. Because Michaela posted a video where she's saying that the police went to her house because there was an unmarked vehicle. A few are gonna maybe show up to your house. Oh yeah, people pull up in front of my house almost every single day. Just pull over, take TikToks, pictures, whatever. You drive a black Honda and you were in front of my house last night, please know that you gave me a fucking heart attack almost. In front of her house. And then people were saying that I was the stalker, that it was me outside of Michaela's house. So I had to clear it up because the private investigator called me. Girl, mm -hmm. let me roll you that shit. Okay, a private investigator is gonna call me I told them I'm gonna record the conversation and um, I have my iPad right here. Let's see. And I'm gonna play it on camera because I wanna prove to y'all that that was not me outside of Michaela's house. So we're gonna see how this goes. Hello? Hello, this is a private investigator, and I was wondering if you were standing outside of Michaela's house stalking her. No, so Michaela posted this video on TikTok, and she was saying that a black car was parked outside of her house. So first of all, I have two residences, one in Beverly Hills, California, off Cannon Drive, and the other one in Houston, Texas. I've never been to her house. I don't even know where she lives. And um, the cops were called. And in the video, Michaela talks about that there was so many police officers at her front door of her house because one of her neighbors called the police that this unknown black car was parked in front of her house for hours, okay? To further add, Michaela never showed us any video of all the police outside her house. And she's like an online creator. She records videos all day, every day. And there's hundreds of police officers outside her house, but she doesn't ever show any type of proof or receipt or video of that. She even says that she goes outside in the cold, but doesn't ever whip out her camera to shoot a quick Instagram story or TikTok story or anything like that. She doesn't do anything like that. So I just, I found that, I think she's lying. And so now I have people asking if it was me, because I cover all the Michaela news. Anything Michaela does, we cover it here. Do celebrity news and gossip. She's a hot topic on TikTok. So anytime she moves, we cover it. Anytime she farts, we cover it. So to ask your question, no, it wasn't me. Do you have any other thing you want to ask me? No, no, thank you. Thank you for the information. Okay, bye. And I'll be happy and wait. Wait, wait, and to further add, I'm willing to cooperate 100% and hand over any information you need so I can further prove that it wasn't me. Okay, thank you for your time. All right, bye. Girl, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. This is Rich Lush with the hottest celebrity news and gossip on TikTok. So let me show you the video where Michaela's talking about the unmarked vehicle. Here we go, roll it. I just tell you, I've experienced a lot of things as an influencer, but last night my hat fell out of my ass. Number one thing I it has taken getting used to since I have become an influencer is public attention. You know, being approached in public and everything like that. As you could maybe expect, when you have 15 million followers, a few are gonna maybe show up to your house. But yeah, people pull up in front of my house almost every single day. Just pull over, take TikToks, pictures, whatever. I'm very used to it, okay? I'm very used to it. We'll leave things at my doorstep, come up to my doorstep, you know, look around my porch, whatever. Please don't do that. Please, I will call the police. <laughs> I really respect the, like, you're curious and, like, you, yeah. It's But I feel like that is an invasion of personal space. I don't know. But anyways, last night was the worst of it. So it's like 8 p.m. If you drive a black Honda and you were in front of my house last night, please know that you gave me a fucking heart attack almost. Okay, so anyways, black Honda. Black Honda packs in front of my house. 
And I think nothing of it. I think nothing of that shit. Because that happens like every day. So like to me, it's like, okay, you know, they're just taking a peek. This time around was different. Because this Honda was packed in front of my house for like 20 minutes. Listen, I have no idea why. I have no idea what they were doing. So like 20 minutes go by. I'm in bed watching fucking Love is Blind. And my doorbell rings. I'm like, who the hell is ringing my doorbell at 8 p.m.? I pull up my camera app to look and see who's at the door. When I tell you, my fucking hat fell out of my chest. Like, I was, I, 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 <laughs> I was not okay. So what I see on the camera, a fuck ton of police cars. A fuck ton of police cars, lights on, and then a shit ton of cops on my porch. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Meanwhile, I'm in my pajamas. I have a fresh coat of self tan on so i look ridiculous i'm like shaking i'm like about full-blown panic attack did someone die is one of us being arrested like what the fuck the amount of police cars the amount of cops it just really i was so scared like the sheer amount of cops in front of my house right now this has to be something major i open the door i'm so flustered that i walk outside fucking barefoot in the freezing cold and i'm like hi <laughs> I'm like i don't know what the fuck it's and then they're like hi ma'am uh, we got a call about a black Honda in front of your house. We notified that there was a potential danger, potential burglary. And I'm like, you've got to be shitting me. <laughs> I was like terrified for nothing. So a couple things. They said a neighbor in the surrounding area called it in. So shout out to the neighbor who's like looking out for me. Because all, all of my neighbors know who I am and that I do TikTok. And that like, you know, I have a larger following and that people stop in front of my house. And I guess this time they were concerned enough to call the police. And I'm like... You know what? Shouts out to you for, for looking after me. But it did scare the shit out of me. Never a dull moment. Never. Oh, you guys stress me out sometimes. <laughs> so moral of the story, I love you guys so much, but please try not to come to my house. Please. Love you. <laughs> oh, honestly, I don't believe it. Honestly, and I say this because, I mean, she's a youth TikToker now, whatever. Like, if there was a hundreds and thousands of police outside my house, Okay, I'm going to record it. I'm going to be, I'm going to record it at the house. I'm just saying. You know how many times I've seen stuff like that? And I would like, my neighbors, I would see a whole bunch of cop cars at my neighbor's house. And I would literally get my phone. Mm-hmm. Long time ago. Years ago. And I, it's like you see stuff like that and you just like can't pull out the camera to see what's going on, right? All that to say this, when she said she made that video but has no receipts or no proof, I don't believe it. Hey, if someone's stalking her and sitting outside her house, I don't condone it. I don't think that's, I don't think it's a good idea to waste time and energy and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's, I don't believe it. And she said that a neighbor called their girl, okay, whatever. Bust at the house, girl. I just don't, you know, I just think that, like, she might as well just say she was swatted. Just say that, just say you, just get on camera, Michaela. And say that you were swatted the house, that someone was swatting you. She didn't get views and clicks, but, you know, that's all I gotta say about that. And I, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. This is Rich Lux with the hottest celebrity news. Okay, bye. Love you so much.